In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? You should know by now. Say it with me now, because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Right, I think there was a bit of a... Yeah, we thought about I at the end of the last episode. <laughs> wow, I can just text her. Genius. Is it lucky though? Is it really? You know, because she's the unluckiest girl ever. Kind of true. I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of bad. But I mean, we're trying to help you. Yeah, the third creator will be there. <laughs> bro, do something, bro. You're the main character. Damn, you made her cry. I, it, these are happy tears. These are happy tears, not sad tears, but you did just make this girl cry. Oh, yeah, that should happen. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we got docs too. Yeah, there was. King Tata was just not there, right? So. Uh, we already spy on you. She, she still doesn't know about the GPS system on him, right? Stalking on my boyfriend. The funny shit would be if all those cameras that she just installed was actually already installed. And she's just saying that she's just lying that, oh, I'm doing this right now. Because you know how much she stalks him. That's right, our guy, we got our new ally, Grandma. Another anime with the Kyoto field trip. Didn't we just do that with the high school DXD? Even in Jujutsu Kaisen. I guess field trips to Kyoto is just a common thing in Japan. Look at all these cute dolls. <laughs> Baldi. Yeah, war veteran, yeah. Ooh, we got the courtesan. I like her. I got her OG mill from Castle. Another Baldi? Meatball Boy, probably our strongest, I think. And the most overworked. <laughs> he evolved. Also Baldi, but he evolved. Ooh. The sign of the eye is star stuff, too. And this accomplishes a bellflower blasphemy. Uh, Alright. So this basically, if you're in the zone, they get weaker. Okay. Half the shit she's saying right now, I'm gonna forget anyways, but let's try to pay attention. Oh, wait! You can damage the soil and then attack the god. This is a crazy mechanic. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's the most random lines ever. Are, are we actually about to fight the god in this episode? Can we really, in one episode, finish everything? I, I was really wondering how this fin finale was gonna end, but like, straight up, we're gonna fight the It's a normal length episode, what? Wouldn't it be rushed if we just fought the god and it's over already? I thought this shit were building towards it for like season two or something. Yeah, this is a third grader, by the way. Okay, they're new places, so, we're, so that's what we're gonna do in this episode. We don't actually fight the god this episode. There's no show. We fight the, fight the god this episode, right? It feels too rushed. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna collect more. Okay, okay, okay. I got baited. Well, I didn't get baited. I, I kind of anticipated that it'd be too soon, but we need more friends. I want to stay here. Everything for I. I mean, we can't just back out. No, I feel so bad for that girl. Imagine they say no and just stay home. Nah, that would, that would never happen. <laughs> Fuck that bitch, I'm staying home. <laughs> no, okay, Tedo, don't do that. Oh, the slime, right? The slime. She's got her own thing going on too. Something about the slime property made it such that it could have like more lifespans. I, f I forget exactly how it was able to avo avoid. Yeah, it damn it, it, it regenerates. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is insane. This is like repeatable lifespans. Isn't that really insane? Isn't that like fucking cracked? Yeah, Yoi might have thought about it too. No, of course not. She's super into this. Uh oh, what she, what she got cooked up for us? A bunch of box books. What, what is this shit? An army of those slimes. Oh, she's really cooking. So this pretty much makes it that we can't even die. Well, it takes us some time to repair, but holy shit! 
Yeah, I thought she'd be more excited too. That's some end game shit. Whoever cursed Aiko and K at the same time? Bro. And like, some people are saying this shit, but like, you know how Aiko is so like into K that people are saying it wouldn't surprise me if she intentionally got cursed together with K so they could be like made into a pact forever together. That would be a crazy plot twist, but like, knowing Aiko's character, that kind of seems feasible, yeah? So what kind of being cursed her back in the day? Something as strong as the god. That's like super endgame stuff. Whoa, Oswald. That sister got everybody there. And the god too. More characters. I don't know who these are. This is our side? I don't know. There's so many new character designs. Surely it'll work out. Surely nothing bad will happen, right? I mean, we're entering the second half of the finale. You would expect some shit to pop off, right? Okay, she's streaming. Is it wedding day? <laughs> Who's the husband? <laughs> Auntie. They're dead though, right? They're all dead, right? <laughs> Hello! Okay, it's a nightmare now. I wonder if this is just a dream or an actual attack by a curse. Please go away. <laughs> Jump scare is coming! <laughs> Who that? Oh! What? What the fuck is that? Is this the god or an actual nightmare or? Ugh. This must be some spiritual attire that's needed for some kind of like traditional sacrifice. I don't know. Keitaro. Keitaro, but Keitaro's memories are getting erased? What? Lee, Lee what? She's forgetting memories about everyone that helped her in the past? What are you missing? Turning into something else. Huh? This is all part of the fucking... I don't know, some kind of tradition. Wait, so, ah, his face just got cooked, but she's still there. Her face just got stolen. Swap? I... Is the god doing all this, right? I... Okay, I thought it was actually happening there. Never mind, never mind. It's just a nightmare. But that's what could happen if we don't save her now. Somehow her face got swapped there. Her face got crushed and then got swapped with a different body. And Is the god trying to like take her body and become, I don't know, a spirit to possess her too? Because, you know, that's what we're doing right now with the new humans with cursed spirits going inside them. But I don't know. Little senpai, Yayoi. Eiko's the only name that she remembers. She just does nothing but suffer. She just... Her life just sucks. Oh, he looks ready. Yo, he looks serious. Hey, what's going on, bro? You're saying that as if you weren't risking your life for the past 24 episodes, bro. Every episode, you could have died. They just waited three hours outside. <laughs> Graduate deploy. Wait, are we gonna put the dolls in the cage and then they just they just go crazy if you open it? Remote release of the graduates. Okay. Yo, he's quite the engineer. He's quite handy. Keitaro coming with this remote control and Eiko with those like mass produced like lifespans with the slime. Yo, we are getting prepared for this, but not gonna be that easy. Sake is offering. Someone's drinking the offering, and then... Oh, Castle H girl, hello. Between the two girls we have, and the courtesan, the courtesan and this girl... She's probably the one that you would marry. But the courtesan is like... She's a little freaky, you know, so I kind of like that. Oh, she's lonely. How does she turn into the softy, man? When she when we were about to rescue her, when we were trying to get her... That was a fucking nightmare. Right, this is the crazy house where the daughter got impregnated by the dad, right? Right, we're using him as like a warning. He's pretty much a scarecrow at this point. Oh, Oswald. Okay, you got the villain side. I do love it whenever we transition to these guys. <laughs> you ever watch that Sponsor episode with the chocolate? Remember, we're trying to sell chocolate and one of the ladies, she's like in a wheelchair, but then you got the grandma and the great grandma. She looks like the fucking great grandma right now. 
This is so creepy because she fucking sealed the real girl into that doll. Nankobo. Okay, that's his name. Are they talking about the specter? Yeah. Because the god is straight up coaching the specter. It's growing. I'm a little confused on how the factions work with these guys with the god. Right? Are they helpers of god too? Or are they totally different? Did the god possess Oswald? I don't fucking know. Okay, so we're gonna go to Kyoto and we're gonna meet. Damn, that's like season 2 content though. No, so that got some dirt. They're just a completely separate faction that doesn't even like work together. They're just kind of on the side. Let's a ghost. You gotta say it. There it is. It's, it's been a while since we've had that. Oh no, this is the opening instrumental. We're ending the episode like that? This felt like a prep episode, huh? Not like a huge finale. <laughs> Character development? I don't know. That's, that's good for her. Hi. Man, is the episode ending now? That's a fancy car, though. Wait, 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 wait. Did you see the car there? Wait, wait, wait. I saw the license plate. Did you see that shit? Look, look at the license plate. Dark Gathering. Title drop on the license plate. What? What does that actually mean? What does Dark Gathering mean? Okay, you got the other dude that got introduced. Shami? Shami's followers? We got the god, yeah. And the specter. Where's the specter at? It's so creepy looking, dude. And that pretty much is Yayoi's other sister, huh? I mean, straight up, the specter is supposed to be like... The specter is supposed to be like... She forcefully impregnated into the womb of the mom, right? And it gave birth. So this pretty much... And even has Yayoi's same eye sigil to... I don't even know when they got activated, but... It's the same shit. Pretty much a sister, huh? Or brother, I don't know. Next stop, Kyoto. Season 2 though. Any more? You got any more? That's the episode, man. I mean, this finale, there were some cool moments like when um, I was like hallucinating in the dream. I can't really say. I mean, I'm terrible for saying this is a cool moment, but this is the best moment of the episode by far, right? This is like hinting at what could happen to I if the god just gets, her, gets his way with it. But this is pretty much a preparation episode. We need to have a little bit more friends that we got to gather from Kyoto if you want to really battle the, the god. But what we don't really understand is the Oswald faction, right? This is a separate group of people that we've already met, but they could in interfere. Maybe they could help us. I don't really know, but this is kind of shaping up to season two content, which is going to be super hype if it ever gets released. I think there is an announcement too soon yet, but that's pretty much it. Now, Dark Gathering season one, 25 episodes, non-split core is back to back to back. Honestly, this shit's fucking peak, right? If you really think about it, of all the anime that's released so far, each week after week, like it's been pretty fucking good. Now, I am not like a only horror enjoyer. There are some people that watch this anime because it's like horror or it's like spooky. And I'm sure I was able to kind of like tap into that audience. But personally, like horror is my favorite genre. But this anime was very enjoyable. There were some real, rather than like jump scares, it's just like excruciatingly disgusting details of things that happen. I don't even know how to rank the most fucked up thing. The Meatball Kid story was pretty fucked up, right? The, even what's happening with the Spectre and, and Yayoi's mom is pretty fucked up. The, the Coruscant story... It was kind of fucked up, but what was the one that's super fucked up? The house. The, the dad and the daughter, that story. Yo, I think that takes, like, top of the top. Of everything we've seen so far, I think the disturbing stories in the tier list, I think those are the peak. If season two ever comes out, we will check it out. And until next time, take care.